Hey guys, welcome back to Pursuit of Accuracy. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be doing a pretty interesting video. So, as you can tell, we got the Lilja Barrel back on the uh, 457 MTR. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to check accuracy at different headspace. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start at 45 thousandths and work our way down to 39 thousandths. I do have a sneaking suspicion of what this is going to like, but we're going to find out. I've got all the shims with me over here. I'll do all the wrenching off camera. We're going to shoot two five shot groups. Um, for each headspace so we'll do that we'll see what happens and we'll see it on camera and we'll be able to tell at the end of the video if uh headspace you know how much it affects accuracy uh so these loggias are probably the only i think they are the only barrel um for the 457 455s that you can headspace yourself so they come with a shim kit i've got another video um that's just about headspacing this and how to set that up i'll throw that link down in the description for you but that's enough talking let's get to it and see what happens all right, guys, we'll be shooting center X. Going to be shooting the same lot throughout the entire video. Uh, start out with 10 ciders. Uh, see what she does. All right, we're just shooting those just to get the uh, barrel up to temp. This barrel's already seasoned, so let's shoot our uh, two five-shot groups for 45,000 headspace, which is what this is set at right now. Let's see what we get. Pretty respectable. All right. All right, we're back. Gun set up to uh, 44 thousandths. And uh, maybe a little point of impact shift as we go through these tests. Um, this piece of barrel's getting taken in and out. Let's see what we got. down to the next uh, headspace see what we get back here we're gonna do uh, 43 thousandths now 
and uh, see what we get. The uh, important thing is that uh, I'm trying to leave all the variables the same. So I'm torquing the, uh, the action the same every time. We're using the exact same ammo, same day, same front and rear support. Um, everything is trying to keep it as consistent as we can. Let's see what we got, 40. 3,000. Wind's picking up a little bit. Even the dog doesn't like this group. Let's see. Oh, yeah, short one. I'm sure I'll not bad but not great. Alright guys, forty-two thousandths. So if it keeps trending getting worse or Looking pretty good there. 41 thousandths. See what we can do. Hmm. Ooh, big time flyer. Open up a little bit. Forty thousand. Two to go. Let's see how forty thousand does for us.
pretty good. Um, that's what I had this gun set up at before, 40,000. So it's kind of what I anticipated performing the best. But uh, as you can see, we started out kind of uh, big on the headspace. And I don't know, we'll have to wait and see what the uh, what it looks like on the calipers. But it looks pretty good. All right. Alright, last headspace. 39 thousandths. See how it does. A little stiffer on the bolt. Flyer. Not bad, pretty good. Well, it was a fun little experiment. Uh, tried a bunch of different headspace on the rifle, and uh, from what I can tell, you know, there's not a lot of, there's not huge differences, but there is um, differences for sure. Um, this just is with my particular rifle and this particular lot of ammo. So it's something you may need to test on your own. If you get one of these barrels, um, you know, I wouldn't just accept the fact that Whatever worked best for me is gonna work best for you, but it should give you a rough idea. So uh, for the groups, uh, started at 45,000 headspace, shot a 0.25 first group. That was pretty impressive. That had me excited. And then shot a uh, 0.39. Um, so two pretty good groups there. Not sure if the camera picked it up. Uh, the downrange camera might have died, but I did shoot a third group to re-verify that. And that was a 0.49 inch group. And uh, so you had a 0 0.25, 0 0.39, 0 0.45. Uh, the wind was picking up a little bit during the test, but um, you know, all really good groups. Uh, I wouldn't complain about any of those. Anyway, uh, neck that down to 44,000 and shot 2.37 inch groups. Uh, so pretty dang on consistent there. Even the groups look similar. Um, so 44,000 is maybe what I start playing with, but it seems like 44, 45, I'll do pretty well. Uh, we went down to 43 thousandths, uh, did end up shooting a 0 0.7 and a 5.5, so not bad, but not as good as the other ones. Um, narrowed it down some more and shot a 0 0.7 and then a 0 0.2. Um, so does show a little promise there, but not as consistent as I would like it to be. And then as we worked our way down, 41 thousandths, we shot a 0 0.7 and a 0.3. Similar results to uh, the 42, and then at 40 thousandths, uh, we ended up shooting, let's see, a .33, and I forgot to write with this one down. This was basically like a .4, um, so not bad there. This is where I had the gun set up beforehand, um, was at 40 thousandths, because I had problems extracting 10x until I got down to 40 thousandths. Um, so pretty good group, so, you know, .33 was a solid, uh, a solid second group, and, and this group wasn't too bad either. This was about a .45, I believe. Um, and then we went down to 39 thousandths, 0.5 and a 0.4. The bolt was starting to get kind of hard to close, um, so I wouldn't go much further than 39 thousandths. But uh, it's an interesting test uh, for me. Uh, 0.43, you know, uh, or I'm sorry, 0.44, 37 and 37. Now I'm probably going to set that back up and shoot that and see how it does, and we'll go from there. But uh, appreciate you guys hanging in there with me. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Uh, throw the video a like. We certainly appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.